everyone. So this video is just going to be about what it feels like when I have a seizure. A lot of people have been commenting about how I feel during them. Um, and just a lot of you guys have been asking me if I can make a video about what it feels like when I have a seizure. So here we go. So the first question is, how do you know when you are going to have one? So when I first start to feel a seizure come on, I usually get this really weird deja vu feeling. I feel like I have felt this feeling before and I'm thinking something that I have before. I can't even like explain what I'm thinking at the time because it's just something different every time. Um, and I can't remember it. After I get that deja vu feeling, I start to feel tingling or numbness in my hand or up going in my arm. Um, my cheek or something will go numb and it will start to pull. It's hard to talk. Like I start to lose my speech and I can't really think straight. Um, I don't even know what I'm thinking at the time. Because when I want to talk or say something, I I know like what I want to say, but I don't know if I'm saying it right. I, I'll try to talk and I just, I can't really hear what I'm saying. Like I don't know what I'm saying and it's just so hard to even just communicate with anyone at the time. So... After I lose my speech and I can't really talk, I I just, I lay down because that's the most safe thing for me to do and um, I just wait for it to be over. I let my mom know or whoever I'm with that I'm having a seizure when I feel it coming on and then I go to lay down and Whoever I'm with will either rub my neck or my shoulder, my arm or anything to help me get through my seizure. They'll talk to me. Um, and if my face is pulling or something, uh, I would try to rub my neck. And that sometimes helps to stimulate the vagus nerve. Sometimes I drool during my seizure. And... That's why, like, I always need someone with me because if I were to choke on that drool or even before I threw up during my seizure and I had no idea that I even did throw up and it was, like, all over my shirt and everything, but I didn't know that I threw up. But, like, if I were to choke on that, that would not be good. I could die or something like that if I were to choke. That's why I always need someone to be there with me when I'm having a seizure because accidents can happen and it would just, it would not be good. When I'm having a seizure, I'm usually aware of what's like around me, what's going on, but at the same time, I'm not. So during the seizures that I'm able to get through are just, they're only a few minutes and I get through them quick, but like it might take a little while for my speech to come back or something. Those seizures, I'm able to, like I'm, a, I'm aware of what's around me. I can't really talk. And communicate with people at the time but I know that I'm having a seizure and I know that um, my face is pulling. Seizures where I am really out of it and I'm shaking really bad and I'm drooling or just even throw up. Um, some of those seizures I black out 
and then I fall asleep after and I don't even know that I had a seizure. I wake up and I know that I went into a seizure, but like during the whole thing where I was shaking really bad, um, that like I don't know or I don't remember or anything like that. Like I'll wake up and whoever I'm with, they'll tell me that I had a really bad seizure and I was shaking really bad and then they'll show me like the video or something and I'm just having a grand mal seizure. My like memory, I can't even remember that. I don't even feel it happening when I'm having that seizure. It's crazy how it all works. It's so, so crazy. So somebody asked, what do you think about when you're having a seizure? What I think about when I'm having a seizure is just getting through the seizure. It's the most scary thing in the world to go through a seizure because you never know how bad it's going to turn out to be. Like it could either be a small seizure or a really very big seizure. You just want to be okay by the end of the seizure and everything be good. That's why you always need to make sure that there's someone with you when you're having a seizure because you could get hurt really bad and it would not be good. Somebody asked me if I'm conscious during the seizure. When I'm having like a small seizure, I'm usually conscious and I know it's around me and I can hear people talking to me, but I can't respond to them. Like, I have no speech during that seizure. It's really hard to talk because I can't even, like, hear myself talk or think. Um, I don't make any words. Like, they don't make sense. But I can hear people talking to me. And I really like when my mom is just telling me to relax and stay calm and stuff like that when she talks to me. It just lets me know that she's there and that... Like, I'm not alone during the seizure. It just really helps for someone to talk to me when I'm having a seizure because it just calms me down more and just helps me. It's really hard to explain this. All right, so here's a question that I want to answer for everybody. Um... just because it makes sense and it's my time of the month right now so I just want to talk about it they asked have you ever thought about getting the birth control that makes you not have your period do you think that would help to not have such bad seizures during your menstrual time since you wouldn't have a period so I have thought about getting the birth control that stops your periods to see if it would help my seizures, but now that I'm having less seizures and it's different this time around during the month, I don't know. I just feel like I've been doing a lot better on this journey and I feel like my body's healing um, because I've just, I've just been so much different during my time of the month now. My menstrual cycle is a lot different. I've been having a lot less seizures than I used to. And I've just been doing a lot better. So I don't think I would want to get the birth control that makes you not have a period. But yeah. Anyway, that's it for what it feels like during a seizure. I'm sorry if that wasn't a lot of information or or what but like that's all I can really explain it's so hard to explain what it's it feels like going through a seizure so I hope this video was enough for you um because that's all I could really think of so so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at my next video bye